today I will be reviewing the Split Spades by David Blaine playing cards. The well, they're made for David Blaine. Um, off the back, the uh, box design is pretty great. It says Split Spades playing cards of the Lion and uh, W M M V three. On the side, it says the U S the U S playing card company made in the U S A. And on the other side says official split official split spades playing card designed by M Stutz Stutz Stutzman yeah that that he um designed the cards here's the back really really nice looking back you can see it has the uh the DB combo let's open the deck when you first open the deck. You immediately see two cards. One card is um, looks like the front of the box. I'm not really sure you can do with this, but it's a really nice card. Then this card is a bunch of really confusing and stupid questions. Um, I really only know the answer to the first one. Um, now onto the deck itself. It's made with Lionoid finish, I believe, the same as Tally Hose, only these feel a little bit better. These are nice and thick, and the back design is just so nice. Words can't even describe how nice they are. Now, onto the cards themselves. I'm going to take out all the court cards, except for the Queen of Diamonds and King of Diamonds, because I want you to see something. I'm actually going to take out the Jokers and Aces also. Ace of that. Ace of Spades, that is. Almost done. Okay, we got all those cards. Now, the King of Spades, if you look at it closely, it looks like David Blaine. Queen of Clubs, looks like another magician, I don't know his or her name. Jack of Diamonds, I believe, is supposed to be Houdini. Queen of Spades, I believe, is supposed to be, uh, I forgot who it's supposed to be. Queen of Hearts also looks different. Say those. Jack of Spades. Oh wait, Jack of Spades might be Houdini. King Clubs. No clue who that is, but like I said, they're all different except for the King of Diamonds and Queen of Diamonds. Now on to the Jokers and Ace. The Jokers are a really neat optical illusion. If you look at these closely enough, you can see David Blaine and the Devil playing poker. It looks like you get two of these, and there's like a court card in every one of the balls on his uh, crown. And then the ace of spades. From far away it looks like a lion. But upon further inspection it's a lady in like a bikini or something with her hair up in the air. It's also an optical illusion in here. See how it says split spades right there? You turn it upside down and it says superstitious. Superstitious. Pretty cool. And also where it says uh, Stutzman, if you turn that upside down, it says Blaine. Uh, Blaine, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. These are extremely well-made cards. They are so amazing. It's They're better than the black uh, Scorpion deck. And they, oh my, I just, I, um, I wouldn't even use fanning powder on these because they're just that good. They are so... Ugh, I can't even... Ugh, I'm just going to say they're the best cards I've ever used. I still haven't used any Jerry's Nuggets yet, so I can't confirm that they're better than those. But they still probably are. These are so amazing. The quality of each and every one of the cards is so good. Like, it's like they were made specifically for David Blaine. Well, they were, but not this version, I believe, but they're so good. Ugh. Buy about a hundred of these. Keep them stashed in your basement. In about 20 years, I'll sell every, I'll buy every single one, because I need more of these. These are so amazing. Ugh. I, I just can't even justify how good these are. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Java Money signing